What's good, Scorpio? So we are doing your reading for you and your person. My readings are for Sun, Moon, and Rising. They are general, so if it doesn't resonate with you, check out your Moon and your Rising video. Any extra information you would like to know is in the description box, okay? Um, keep in mind throughout the reading, uh, your person can be someone you're already dealing with or someone you are not with yet. Um, just take it how it resonates, okay? What do we have for Scorpio and their person? Universe, spirits, and guides. What do we have for Scorpio? And their person. Three shuffles. So the mutual energy between the two of you, Scorpio, is the Four of Cups in reverse with the Knight of Wands. Um, there's definitely a lot of sexual energy between the two of you. There's a lot of um, attraction, passion. I do feel like you're both intentionally, you know, shutting out emotionally. Um, it's like you both want to be seen possibly or you both, you're both wanting some form of attention from the other. Um, okay, so Scorpio, your feelings toward this person is the tower energy. So there's definitely been some form of shakeup in regards to your feelings toward this person, Scorpio. That's causing you to feel like you have to ignore it. Okay, um, with the Ten of Pentacles. Scorpio, your person may be investing into a commitment or that's how you're viewing it. And that's why you feel like you need to ignore this person. Um... Because you feel like they're investing into another relationship or they're putting money first or they're not putting this first. Okay, so for the cross watcher, that's why Scorpio is ignoring you because you're investing into something else. How do they? View, how does Scorpio view this person? Three of swords in reverse. You're viewing this person as someone that's healing from the situation and releasing this. Um, possibly for a third party or for someone else. If there was multiple people involved, you're viewing this person as someone that has chose someone else. Okay, um, your person's feelings in regards to you is the king of pentacles in reverse. Why? With the star in reverse. So your person may be having a hard time having hope with you long term, Scorpio. Um, it's like there's something here they just can't get past or there's something here they're having a hard time letting, letting, letting go. Okay, because in their feelings, it's like they're very stubborn. They're very stuck in their ways. They're very determined to not see this through right now. Okay, you could have bursted their ego a little bit for some of you. How do they view the Scorpio? How do they view the Scorpio? <clears throat> Knight of Cups in reverse. So this person's viewing you as someone emotionally unavailable or it's very difficult to get any form of emotion from you. And also with the star in reverse and king of pentacles in reverse, this person may be avoiding some form of healing because there's some form of trigger here happening for this person, Scorpio. And they're ignoring that part. It's like they're just putting it all on you. Okay, maybe it, it is all you. I don't know. It takes two. But they are viewing you as someone emotionally unavailable or suppressing some form of feelings. Okay. Um, the blockage here has been the emperor. I get, you know, the emperor being the blockage, this is like two strong-headed personalities or energies trying to make something work, okay? Someone may have been, I feel like it's the both of you immediately though, to be honest with you. I feel like you both were very set in your ways or you're very, you know, determined to see something through. It's like there's an ego thing here. Give me more on the emperor with the moon yeah i feel scorpio you both you both have been holding back a lot because it's like you're wanting a victory you're wanting a win you're wanting um it's like you don't neither of you want to look vulnerable here neither of you want to look weak and i do get it's a little bit of an ego thing or pride thing but you're both def definitely withholding emotions because you don't want to look weak Okay, 
action you plan on taking is a two of pentacles in reverse. Why is the two of pentacles in reverse with the nine of cups? A lot of you guys are choosing to just focus on you um, and your own happiness with the five of swords in reverse. Yes, yeah, Scorpio, a lot of you guys are coming to terms or peace with whatever is happening between the two of you. You're finding a lot of emotional fulfillment um, elsewhere. Okay, you're focusing on your own goals, your own dreams. Um, you feel like the situation brought too, mu too much games or... Um, it brought too much drama into your life or that's how you're seeing it and i do feel like you guys are choosing to drop this and doing that brings back a lot of when you're not focusing on this person it creates a lot of emotional balance within you okay action your person plans on taking is the hermit why is the hermit here with the four of pentacles and the King of Wands in reverse. So Scorpio, your person has definitely... Your person's going through a lot of enlightenment, first of all. Um, right now, I do feel like as far as their actions, they're very withdrawn, detached. They're very focused on money or some form of financial situation. But this person doesn't feel like they have a place in your life anymore, if I'm going to be quite honest with you. It's like, this is someone that is becoming humbled or they're getting some form of humbled enlightenment. It's like their ego has been kind of bursted a little bit because they don't feel confident in the situation anymore. Why don't they feel confident in the situation anymore? Because you walked away. Eight of Cups. So this person thought you were going to chase them, Scorpio. <laughs> this is one of those situations where you both were really stubborn. But someone was hoping the other person would kind of fall and chase them. This person wants you to chase them and they're realizing you're not. They're realizing you're walking away. And now they don't know what to do. It's like they're lost. With the devil, they sabotaged it. So Scorpio, your person is definitely um, recognizing their shadow side, recognizing what sabotaged the situation. And now they don't know what to do. They're lost for words. It's like they're really having this moment that's very uncomfortable for them because the only person that they can look at is themselves. This guy's in a room full of mirrors, you know, and... Again, they did not realize you would walk away. So if your person walked away and chose someone else or they just walked away, they thought you were going to come and chase them or they wanted you to fight for them, whatever it may be, and you didn't. And you're doing it out of pure happiness, not out of bad motive. <laughs> so, sorry, I don't want to laugh. Um, but yeah, this is definitely forcing. Remember that triggering I was talking about earlier that this person was avoiding healing through their own triggers? They're being forced to heal um, in order to solve any form of situation here. Okay? Most likely, Okam is the temperance energy. So this is healing. So this is good. Okay? Um, tell me about the temperance energy for the most likely Okam with the chariot and the eight of wands. So this person is definitely um, getting control of their life slowly and surely. I do feel like there's going to be a lot of um, impulsive communication coming through Scorpio. The eight of wands is like communication that comes out of nowhere. Um, but it also gets rid of any blockages or stuck energy that may have been between the two of you. And I do feel with the temperance energy, your person does want to heal the situation. They want to bring balance to the situation. This person could be traveling to see you as well with the six of wands. This is someone that is very determined to have some form of victory with you, Scorpio. And like I said, there's a lot of heated communication, passionate communication coming through. And it is coming from a place of balance with the temperance energy. It's coming from a place of awareness as well. Um, and it's going to get things unstuck. How will Scorpio react to this communication? Aw, 
Scorpio with the Six of Cups and the Strength card. Scorpio, I do feel like a lot of you guys are open for reconciliation. This is a romantic type of re reconciliation. This is a reconciliation that's going to make you feel good. It's going to make you feel proud in a sense. It's going to kind of make everything make sense that happened in the past. And it's going to make you feel good not only in the situation but of yourself. But I definitely get reconciliation type of energy here. Um, and it's going to make you both feel really good to get on the same page. Okay. Give me a love and romance angels card for Scorpio. So we do have codependency. Codependency and addictions have been affecting your romantic love life. I feel like that's your person, to be honest with you. Um, express your love and chemistry. There's a strong med magnetic attraction here. So for a lot of you, Scorpio, you just had to walk away for this person to address their own demons, to be honest with you. Okay? Um, but this person is going to have that aha type of moment of like, damn, I screwed shit up, you know? So I hope this helped you and all the best.